Do you want to save $15 a week by growing your own vegetables? Honestly, that is the wrong question. The Earth has been spinning around the Sun for 4,000 million years, which compared with the 50 minutes you spent in the last traffic jam that got you so mad is an awful long time. The good news is that from all we know is that it will continue spinning around the Sun for many more millions of years. The real question is will there be humans on this earth enjoying the benefits of all those innovations we will undoubtedly develop and will we have made the planet uninhabitable? It all depends on one simple question. Will we have learnt to recycle our food waste? This is not a thing for big business. They are too busy making profits. It is not a thing for governments. They are too busy getting re-elected. It is a thing for the people. That's you and me. In this video I will show you how you can get started on recycling your waste food. I honestly don't care whether you do this to save $15 a week on your grocery bill or to save the human species as long as you do it. Please watch and act. For once it is real easy. You can do it. We start with the box. Nothing special about the box. Even a large flower pot works fine. But there must be either drainage holes in the base or a swivel tube so the box can be drained. We just lay a piece of dishcloth over the holes and partially fill with organic waste, kitchen scraps or organic waste. It is the question of making do with what you've got. I collect all the kitchen waste and food scraps. They come on a day to day basis so I just put them into a box until I am ready to use. Some will have partially rotted, while others will still be raw. I'd normally add some G-Biota inoculant to this storage box, but this is G-Biota 101, so I'll leave that for now. I also add grass clippings, because I have a lot. They add nitrogen and give a bit of balance to, to the often potent food waste, but this is video is about recycling, and we recycle what we have got. As you can see, there's a lot of pretty raw or labile compost here. This is not good for growing plants as the waste decomposes it gives off gases which act as growth inhibitors. And I have a more sophisticated system using an additional pre-composting box which works very well but here I'm showing the simplest possible way of feeding the gut brain. I simply make sure there's a high nitrogen layer above this labile compost. This can be processed manure or blood and bone, which you can buy from any gardening store. But I'm going to use chick manure on the recycling rule of making do with what you've got. It may not be as sophisticated as other systems, but it works fine and anyone can do it, which is the key. Now we have to put the growing box on top of the sump box so we can collect what we call soil blood, which is critical to the G-Biota process. We then buy a box of G biota soil, which has been reduced from G biota inoculant and contains a broad spectrum of microbes and nutrients and a packet of seeds. Plants exude sugars from their roots, which attract and encourage specific species of microbes, so it's better to have a multiple types of plants. Different selections of seed are available from green manures, baby greens, special diabetic plants, etc. But the standard is baby greens. This will contain plants from rocket, which is very fast growing, to slower growing plants like linseed, which provide omega-3, important for cholesterol. Typically a box will have a lifespan of about 12 weeks. We empty the box on top of the organic waste, just leaving a little soil to cover the seeds. Then we thoroughly wet out the soil, sprinkling the seeds on the surface and cover with the remaining soil and pat down. There are two basic rules in the G-Biota system. Rule number one is that you must flood and drain the box so it breathes expelling the stale air and sucking in fresh air. We lift off the growing box, pour the soil blood into a watering can and flood the growing box. As it floods it expels the old stale air. When it drains, it sucks fresh air back into the soil. 
the soul is breathing, creating aerobic conditions which favour the beneficial microbes. Rule number two is that we must regularly circulate the soil blood so it never goes stagnant and putrid. All we have to do is regularly, maybe once a week, flood the box and let it drain. The plants grow full of beneficial microbes and nutrients. People seem to think that growing gut brain food is complicated. And that is just not true. Microbes have been breeding in the soil. Plants have grown in the soil with the biota entering the plants by osmosis. Then creatures have eaten the plants and developed a healthy gut biota. That has been going on for over a million years without a DNA analyzer in sight. We know that early humans had a healthy gut and modern day hunter-gatherers and people living in the blue zones have a healthy gut. There is no magic about it. To convince people how simple it is, I've set up a starter project where people can see just how easy it is for themselves. Go to my web, gbiota.com, email me, and I will help you set up your gbiota boxes. Growing your own gut food will save you money, increase your chance of a longer health span, and may help the future Halloweens.